Welcome, Welcome to Cappadocia. Cappadocia! As we've been here a few days, we're going to tell you some things that you really, really need to know before you come here. We have definitely messed up and we've not been prepared, so we want you to be ready. <laughs> How cold is it? It's really cold. I am wearing two jumpers. I have a t-shirt on and I have I had a dress under but then I put trousers on because it's too cold and we don't have enough warm clothing because we thought it was going to be warm. <laughs> on Instagram you think this is perfect but we've been waiting three days to have a sunny sunrise with the balloons. The last few days the balloons haven't been flying because of wind and rain and so it can't be over 11 uh, miles per hour wind otherwise it's a no-go. The balloons don't go up. So make sure you've got enough time in Cappadocia because otherwise you might not get into the balloons. So we are walking back to town now and our dog is still with us. She's so cute. She's followed us pretty much the whole time. The dogs here in Cappadocia and Turkey in general, they have like these really big mountain dogs. And I think they used to be used to fight off wolves to like guard the sheep, but they're very docile. They're really, really nice. I've never been anywhere where I feel so comfortable around these massive dogs. So we just went to this really cute little cafe called Hopper Coffee House and I got hot chocolate. And I got coffee, but it's so good. Really, really tasty. Would recommend, um, especially after a cold sunrise. <laughs> but now we are heading back to where we're staying and we're staying something different now and it's more of a budget place. It's not like a more expensive place where we stayed in the last video. So this is our room. This is only costing us £17 a night together, which is an amazing deal for Turkey. Obviously it's got a bed, it's comfy, it's got some good light. It's fairly basic. So onto the toilet, the shower does go over the sink and the toilet, so everywhere gets wet. But I mean, it does the job. It's just a shower. So yeah, pretty good. So we have just come to this lovely restaurant and it has a rooftop. So I have ordered a chicken sheesh and honestly, this is probably one of my favorite meals in Turkey. And um, so you've basically got um, the chicken here and it's normally on a kebab and you have it with rice. And if you know me, I love Asian rice. I just love rice, it's so good. And Amelia, what have you got? I have a chicken wrap, some chips and salad. Everything always comes with salad, I feel like in Turkey, which is quite nice. Yeah, bit of health. Bit of health. That chicken sheesh was amazing. If you are coming to Turkey, try the tuvuk sis or the chicken sheesh. That was my attempt of Turkish. It's probably terrible. Probably very bad. So Cappadocia is a lot more expensive, especially for food than other parts of Turkey. For an average meal, you're looking probably like 100 lira to 300 lira per person. You can say in some che cheaper places, like this chicken sheesh was 130 lira. But yeah, that's probably the minimum you're kind of looking at. How much is it to go here? 70 lira. Okay. Yeah. So we've been looking for transport and we first looked for a quad bike and that was a hundred euros a day for a quad bike for 24 hours, which is just insanely expensive. So we're like, okay, we can't do that. And so we decided we'd look for a scooter and you need a motorbike license for that. Do you rent scooters? If you have a motorcycle license. Ah, oh, okay. Cheers. Thank you. Apparently, so we can't do that either. So in the end, we had to take a taxi, but that was only 70 lira, which is far cheaper than the foul thousand euro no hundred euro for the quad bike so yeah that's how we ended up here at the castle which we're going to go explore now hello two people 100 two person okay thank you thank you so we've just got tickets to the yukazar castle and excuse me if i'm pronouncing that wrong but it was only 50 lira each which is a pretty good deal so we're going to go take a look around we've just seen this massive mountain i think it's like 3900 meters tall i can't pronounce the name of it so we're going to put it down below oh i can't believe people used to live in here i know it's mad and the fact that the rain must have come through and wouldn't they have fallen out of here whoa Although it doesn't normally rain much here, especially in the summer. It has been raining whilst we've been here though. Yep, great. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a massive maze. It really is. But natural, natural. A natural maze. But is it natural? Because I think it's crafted in the olden days. Maybe that's where they used to go toilet. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> help, help me, help me. Ugh. 
Yeah, maybe this is like the I kitchen. Like maybe fireplaces, you know, you saw your pots and pans, your pastas, your sauces, a bit of everything. The weird thing is, it doesn't actually tell you anything about this place. Like, it doesn't tell you if this is the kitchen. It doesn't tell you anything. It's just all this museum is, is based on a film that was filmed here. And every, like, you know, bit of writing is all about the film. And we're like, how's that going to help us? So over in the distance is Gourmet and that's where we are staying but there's other towns in the area you can stay in and they are slightly cheaper. You just have to get into Gourmet because that's where most of the balloons take off. But in Gourmet there's loads, you've got everything around you like the nice restaurants, coffee shops, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, maybe if you want to spend a bit more, stay in Gourmet but cheaper, stay out. It's less touristy around here too. What you doing? Don't do that at home. Was it fun? It was. <laughs> People started living here in the 6th and 7th century BC, which is a long time ago. Like, it's crazy. This is literally like caves which people were living in. Apparently people still actually live in these and you can actually see a window up there. There, or there. <laughs> Guys, we have just seen two tortoises. Like, what are they doing here? Like randomly. <laughs> what? Are these wild tortoises? <laughs> what? Why is pushing him down? <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? They're having a fight. We've got a little boxing match going on. What we just witnessed was um, very interesting to say the least. So we just walked down the road and we've come to a little viewpoint of the castle thing. Eucaric, how was, how do we say it? Eucaric, Eucasar castle. I'm not sure, Eucasar, let's go with Eucasar. Eucasar castle, it looks so cool. It's like the tallest point around and when you're at the top, views are really cool. So when you're in Cappadocia, there's a lot of different ways you can get around. Obviously you can do the quad bike, but that was so expensive. But there's like tours you can do. There's a red tour, blue tour, orange tour, maybe Red Tour, and basically they go to all four different regions around Cappadocia. So if you want to do one of those and not rent something, then you can do one of those tours, but we love exploring ourselves, don't we? We do. We do. Woo. So we were just walking along the side of the road and we put our hands out to a bus and it stopped. We jumped on it and now we're back in Gourmet. So, and that was only 10 lira each. So. That's also the second time we've hopped on that bus from the side of the road, so. Yeah, if you yeah. want to go to a near, nearby town and not pay too much, say for a taxi, the cheap way is to just stand by the side of the road and wait for a bus. You never know. You never know. Uh, two people. Thank you. Okay, so we have just come up to this sunset spot, which is just literally a five minute walk from the center of Gourmet. As you can see, Gourmet is down there and pretty much everyone is over there, aren't they? I don't know why everyone always huddles in the same spot. There's plenty of room up here. We're gonna enjoy the sunset by ourselves on a random cliff, but not near the edge. Sorry, mum, <laughs> over here. So this is the town of Gourmet and then that is where we were earlier, the castle. Looks beautiful. It's pretty nice guys, it's pretty nice. I hope you found this video useful because yeah, that's just some of the things we've learned over these few days. And thank you so much for watching. If you did find it useful, please hit the like button and we'll see you in the next video. Also subscribe because you should. I don't know, you should. Okay, see you in the next one. We're probably gonna be doing like a Turkish road trip or something. So it's gonna be cool, bye.